In Three Hopes, elemental attacks are a fun way to spice up your gameplay by being able to inflict various statuses to help you in battle. I've done some grinding and testing so you don't have to, and I want to share my findings in this guide. As a disclaimer, some elements are super finicky and I do not have all the info I would like. However, I wanted to put out what I have. Today we'll be covering the six elements and their statuses, the essence of element skills, enhanced elemental moves, elemental damage infusion, elemental assist skills, and some notes about fiendish blow. In three hopes, the six elements are fire, lightning, wind, ice, light, and dark. Generally, to apply these elements, you need to use combat arts or magic spells, but certain classes also inflict elemental damage with their strong attack combos. The monk and mage classes do this early on. At master classes, you have the Gremory, Dark Bishop, Mortal Savant, Dark Knight, and Holy Knight. There is also Violet's Enlightened One class. Elemental hits can apply a status with stronger elemental attacks, having a higher chance to apply said statuses. I do not know the exact rates, but it is noticeable with higher tier combat arts and magic. It seems very consistent at the end. Our first element is fire, which applies the burn status. For my testing, burn lasts for 30 seconds and ticks every other second for 1% of max HP. However, there seems to be stronger burn statuses, something that isn't really explained in game. If you use stronger spells or combat arts, you can inflict a 30 second burn that takes every second for a total of 30% max HP. Burn has a secondary effect where any attacks afterwards has a chance to combust a target. This is just an extra proc of area effect damage at a seemingly somewhat lower rate. Next up is Lightning, which can apply the Shock status. Shock also appears to have a second tier of application with a more noticeable Lightning aura around the enemy, but I could not exactly tell what it does. Hold up, Future Spear here. I did some more testing, and I think I do know the difference now. I will showcase it after Past Me finishes its explanation of Shock. To trigger Shock, you have to send enemies flying. This is a specific mechanic that you kind of just have to figure out. For example, a strong one combo may hit enemies in the air, but that is not sending them flying. From my testing, generally speaking, the full regular attack combo does send enemies flying. Additionally, for a lot of classes, their strong 3 combo also works. As promised, here's an example of the two tiers of shock. The tier 1 shock status when discharged creates a small spark effect. When you discharge the larger tier 2 shock status, it creates the big lightning strike. I can only assume this means a bigger AoE and perhaps more damage. Discharge spread shock to other enemies, so it seems good for large mobs. Third, we have Wind, which applies the Wind Torn status. Wind Torn simply deals damage or extra damage to foes launched into the air. Again, I believe this is a specific method, and as an example, a lot of strong one combos specifically launch enemies up. When it procs, air blades attack the enemy and deal AoE damage. As a note, the damage effects for fire, lightning, and wind do not seem that crazy. It's also basically impossible to tell when they happen in the chaos of battle. Personally, I would try to play toward the activation conditions, but don't expect to be wowed. Fourth element is ice, and it's my personal favorite. No complicated secondary effects, ice elemental damage freezes enemies which means they won't hit you back. Ice is by far the most impactful feeling element to me because when there are a lot of enemy generals fighting, you can just freeze them all at once. I personally spam a ton of ice strong attacks, combat arts, and spells. Next, we have Light Damage, which has a chance to heal you based on the damage done. For my normal playthrough, I did not feel Light Damage's healing is very necessary, but for harder difficulties, that may change. For those playing on hard or maddening mode, let me know your thoughts. If you want a ton of Light Damage, the Holy Knight's entire attack combo set all deal Light Elemental Damage. Last up, we have Dark, which inflicts the Spellbound status. Spellbound is incredibly potent and is my number two best status to inflict. It slows movement, it lowers defense and res, and when guarding, all damage still goes through. When you get Spellbound, the movement penalty is extremely noticeable, and enemies literally move in slow motion. Being able to just deal more damage and bypass guarding is also very strong, so I would pay attention to those who can use, or use Dark Magic or have Dark-based unique actions like Hubert, Lysithia, or Happy. Now that we know the six elements, what does the essence of element skills do? You will find these, I believe, almost entirely on the Warlock class, with Essence of Light being on Priest, and Essence of Dark being on the Dark Mage class. Not every character has an essence skill, but there are a lot of them. These skills state, causes element-based combat arts, magic, strong attacks, and class actions to instead produce a more powerful version of that attack. 
First off, for my testing, essence skills do not increase damage necessarily. From what they actually do is enhance these elemental moves into bigger and better variants. For example, with Essence of Fire, the basic fire spell will now shoot three fireballs instead of one. The Grammary class action goes from one giant laser beam to multiple rotating giant laser beams. It's pretty awesome. Basically, all the enhanced moves come with a bigger area effect, and that's great for clearing out the fodder enemies for those S rank rewards. The mage classes generally get to use these skills to enhance their strong attacks, but it does apply to other classes like Mortal Savant, Dark Knight, and Holy Knight as well. It also improves combat arts, so have fun with those. I will now list who has what essence skill, but you can also see these in the Change Class tab. For Essence of Fire, you can find it on both Violets. Edelgard, Ferdinand, Caspar, Dedu, Sylvain, Lawrence, Raphael, Leone, Baltus, Catherine, and a certain New Game Plus character. I'll try to be a avoid spoiling those for now. For Essence of Lightning, this is on Dimitri, Felix, Hilda, Host, Manuela, and Geralt. Essence of Wind is on Petra, Linhart, Ash, Claude, Yuri, and Sedith. Essence of Ice is on Bernadetta, Ingrid, Ignaz, Marianne, Shamir, and a secret character. Essence of Light is on Mercedes, Constance, Flane, Rodrigue, and another secret character. Essence of Dark is on Shez, Hubert, Yuritsa, and one more hidden character. Important to note, only male Shez learns Essence of Dark, because this one is in the Dark Mage class. Related to Essence skills, we have Elemental Damage and Fusion. You will know these from our house leaders who infuse their attacks with Fire for Edelgard, Lightning for Dimitri, and Wind for Claude. Annette's unique action also has a chance to infuse an ally's attacks with an element specific to them. You then have Violet's unique classes which can infuse their weapon with Fire, Lightning, or Light Damage. For my testing, Elemental Infusion basically acts the same as the Essence skills. For example, if you make Edelgard a mage, her fire spell by default is enhanced and shoots 3 instead of 1. Using a mage's fire strong attack will enhance it just as if she had Essence of Fire. Interestingly, because of her innate fire infusion from her unique ability, you would normally never know that her unique class's class action is already enhanced. If you overwrite Edelgard's unique action with the help of the Merc Whistle, you can tell the class action's wave projectile is much shorter. This is its normal form, but the class action itself also deals fire damage. That means you can now add Essence of Fire back to regain the enhanced version. Very cool, but normally very impractical. Because Violet's unique classes can get three different infusions, it means you have access to Fire, Lightning, and Light Essence, albeit only for a very short time. With Light Infusion, Violet's Strong 1 Light Attack now extends much farther forward. With Fire Infusion, their Strong 3 becomes a bigger Circle of Fire. Remember, this applies to combat arts and spells as well. This mechanic can give Violet a bit more depth, but I really wish their infusion time was up for longer. Now that we've covered Elemental Essence and Infusion being able to enhance attacks, let's talk about Elemental Assist skills. These are extremely rare, some only on one single character, so let's first see who even has these assist skills. Fire Assist is only on Edelgard. Lightning Assist is on Dorothea and Hilda. Wind Assist is only on Annette. Ice Assist is on Bernadetta and Marianne. Light Assist is on Mercedes and Constance. Finally, Dark Assist is only on Lysithia. Assist skills are going to come from mastering the Grammary class, hence it's only on these ladies. Assist skills state, when this unit is an adjutant, adds the appropriate element to the active unit's strong attacks. So, first off, you have to pair up with someone else, and you give their strong attacks an element now. This is similar to infusion in a few ways. You will not override strong attacks with innate elements already, but you will enhance strong attacks with the same innate element. You cannot get too crazy or tricky with this. For example, I can give Ferdinand Edelgard's Solar Prominence unique action thanks to the Merc Whistle, so now he has Fire Infusion. If I then pair Edelgard using Fire Assist with Ferdinand who has Fire Infusion, I do not create new enhanced strong attacks. Let's take Great Knight for example, which has no elemental strong attacks. With Fire Infusion, Ferdinand already has Fire Strong Attacks. Fire Assist does not empower this any further. Now interestingly, assist skills will overwrite infusion if it's from another element. 
For example, I have standard Edelgard with Fire and Fusion, paired up with Bernie using Ice Assist. Edelgard's regular hits do fire damage, but her strong attacks now do ice damage. You get to create neat combo of elements, and as far as I can tell, statuses can stack. So if I paralyze Scythia with Dark Assist on Edelgard, she can burn and spellbound enemies. If I use Constance for Light Assist, now Edelgard can heal off strong attacks. Assist kills are fun, but they are extremely limited, and you have to be paired up to even use them. Last topic for this video is about Fiendish Blow and the strength of elemental attacks. All of the tutorial tips state stronger elemental hits have higher chances to inflict statuses or increase the damage of things like Windhorn. That's cool, but I have zero clue what this actually entails. The game does not really expand on this, so I can only use my observations from interaction testing. From my understanding, every elemental attack has a certain strength tied to them. I think this is correct because when you upgrade the house leader's abilities, they don't change except for a couple key words. At level 1, Solar Prominence states it imbues attacks with fire. Level 2 says imbue attacks with powerful fire. And level 3 says imbues attacks with devastating fire. Clearly at level 3, Edelgard is supposedly dealing a stronger fire effect or something. With this assumption, I can assume the Fiendish Blow skill works in a similar manner. It states, increases the power of elemental effects. How much? I don't know. This elemental strength mechanic is not explained in the slightest. For Edelgard, is Devastating Fire the highest tier of elemental strength? I don't think it is. I say this because even with Devastating Fire and Fiendish Blow, if I inflict a burn with Edelgard's regular hits, she only ever inflicts the slower tier 1 burn, which ticks every other second. I noticed that one basic fire spell also only inflicts the slower burn, but if I use two fire spells, it changed to the faster burn. I could also add one fire spell to a burn from regular attacks to get the same result. However, if I use the better combat arts or spells, they inflict the stronger burn instantly. My conclusion is that elemental strength like powerful fire or devastating fire along with fiendish blow just increases the chance to proc a status. However, multiple procs can get a stronger status effect, at least for burn, maybe shock as well. I'm very unsure about this mechanic. Overall, I feel like the most impactful element to damage continues to be ice to freeze enemies, followed by dark to inflict spellbound. I continue to believe that any ice unique actions are very powerful, and with level upgrades, the dark unique actions start to shine a lot more. As for enhanced elemental moves, I think this is a very fun system, and it can be worth chasing after the essence skills. The enhanced moves make the house leader's elemental infusing abilities interesting for various classes, and the enhanced moves are sometimes very flashy. As for the assist skills, I wish they weren't so limited. They can create some variety by letting you dip into multiple enhanced moves for classes like Dark Knight or Grammarie though. Hopefully this video helped you out, and I would love to find more concrete details for things like elemental strength. I have some more videos for Three Hopes coming in the works, so look forward to that. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.